This media briefing was convened to respond to all allegations made by Foreign Minister Mangala Samaravira, who claimed that Tamara Kunanayakam had connections with the LTTE. I am a victim of this slander and of a blatant lie for reasons that I don't know. But uh, most probably the minister knows why he said, made this statement. I believe that he has misused the fact that I'm a Tamil uh, to automatically, because it's very easy, to automatically brand an organization that I have consistently and relentlessly fought against and criticized throughout my private and professional life. The minister offered no arguments and no proof because there is none. Only one day after having made this defamatory statement, Minister Mangala Samaravira told Parliament they will, they will remove the ban on diaspora organizations and individuals as there was no tangible evidence to link them to the LTTE. Now, does this mean that he has tangible evidence that I came forward on behalf of the LTTE? Does this mean that my name appears on a list of LTTE terrorists? Or does the minister mean that he intends to draw up such a list and that he plans to put me on that new list of LTT terrorists. What troubles me most is that the minister represents my country abroad and that he's abandoning the very promise that brought him and the government to power. It is indeed shocking that the minister of external affairs of the country should summarily dismiss the findings of the Auditor General of this country simply as a complaint played by a woman whose hopes have been dashed and then say that the gov government cannot act on it because it has to follow Yaha Palana. Now, if that's the kind of Yaha Palana that the government has promised to the people of Sri Lanka and we see unfolding before our eyes only some 70 days uh, into the 100-day program, then the people should be beware of surrendering their sovereignty for not just for 100 days, but it will be for several years to politicians who have nothing but contempt for ordinary citizens of this country. Now, for all these reasons, I have decided, uh, together with my lawyers, to envisage legal action against Mr. Uh, Minister Mangala Samaravira. In truth, I too am shocked that Mangala Samaravira, who spoke with me about good governance, has made such a false racist allegation. He is well aware that Tamara Kunanaikam has never had connections with the LTTE. Why did he level such a false accusation? This government came into power to talk to the Tamil people and take the country forward. But what do they do? Whenever there is a problem, they shout, Tiger, Tiger. When a financial problem is put forward, it is not good governance to level other accusations at people. This is what happened under the previous government. Firstly, it is totally unethical for Mangala Samarvira, the foreign minister of Sri Lanka, to blatantly lie about a former ambassador who served the country. Secondly, if the foreign minister says things like this about a former ambassador, then will anything he says on behalf of the country be accepted anywhere in the world? Professor Rajiva Vijay Singer also spoke on the appointment of former Foreign Secretary and former Permanent Representative in Geneva, Shenuka Senevratna, as a Sri Lankan ambassador to Thailand. I asked the Prime Minister how can Shenuka Senevratna be sent abroad. Was an inquiry conducted? At that instance, he said that it was tradition to give them a foreign posting after they have served as Secretary and added that it would be convenient for the investigation if she were abroad. Government power and power in the ministry was centered around Shenikos and Ratna and Sajin was Kunavardhana under the previous government. So I asked Mangala if he did not look into all that she did against Chris Nonis.